Welcome back. Since the last time of recording, I have been uh, clearing out a bit of this area. As you can see, we put down our main or our warehouse or shed. And up here, we had trees on this side. I cleared it out. And all of these is uh, because I've been using the yarder to pull the trees up and just let them go. So, need to figure out how to, <laughs> to deal with that mess. In addition to that, I've been uh, cleaning out the area, creating a road up here. And uh, as you can see, we are almost at the end. Just out here is the road that leads back. So I would like to plant trees here and again we're gonna plant grass and over on this side we want to clear up that area as well so let's go and have a look. Oh yeah you can see all the trees right here if we drive into this it's just a bunch of trees uh, smaller trees that's been cut and left there like a garbage area so we need to look into uh, wood chips as well uh, at the same time, I, I did some investigation on these uh, downing or downed berry trees or whatever they are called. Uh, <laughs> huge mistake planting those. It was just a waste of money, waste of time, because what I learned is I can use them for absolutely nothing. Uh, and the only way to get rid of them is by mulching. Basically what we do with the roots, right? So we can drive the machine into it and... Oh, piece of wood. Uh, just destroy them. That's that's all they're good for. Or oh, decoration, of course. Offsetting the CO2 from... Uh, <laughs> from my machinery, perhaps. Which, of course, is uh, sad. The pine trees, however, is useful and is coming along just fine. Also, uh, while clearing out the area, I enabled the cardboard production as well because I felt the factory was not clearing up fast enough. I have too much wood and uh, I was hoping if I enabled both production lines, then maybe we could get a faster consumption. I'm not sure. But it also means we now just have two types of uh, products to get rid of. Yeah. Let's go and uh, grab the cedar so we can plant some grass in our newly uh, recovered area. Nothing. All right. Uh, <coughs> see dust. There we go. So we're we're just gonna stick with the no Nostein lease. Yes. And we need some seeds, of course. Do we have any front rollers? No, we don't. Uh, would be nice. Let's just get this refilled. Oh, we actually have seats. We left from last time. Well. Now we got plenty. 
So we want to switch to grass. There we go. I also want to level out this area, but I need to get rid of the lumber first. So let's start with this side. Machine on. Lord, off we go. Just want to make sure we get to the edge. So one of the things I noticed using the Yara is uh, lumber is flying all over the place. Uh, one of the ideas was, well, I still have it and I still think it will be great is when we have enough money, we're just gonna buy some silos uh, to pull the trees with. So we just place some silos on the road here, all the way down. Hopefully that will uh, then uh, keep the lumber straight, on a straight path, straight to the yada. Can we go over like this? Uh, I guess so. <coughs> Getting up close to the stone this time. How many stones do we have? We have one, two, and one over there, and one. So we got four so far. We need to uh, do something about. Oh, there's one more in there. <coughs> the only reason I haven't cleaned up all the, the locks right now is because the machine I need for cleanup is parked on the other side and is uh, hooked up to some tree. So I think if I brought it around with the dozer, or we actually had a wheel front loader, we could do something like, uh, uh, like this and maybe push them together. Because once they're aligned, then we should be able to just grab them uh, and drag them along. Oh, and uh, I noticed even though I bought this land, uh, when you get too close to the lake, like here, these trees I can't uh, cut down. It's like, uh, it's saying uh, you don't have right or access to these. So I guess this last row is just gonna stay there. Of course, that's fine. We are still in the setup phase, right? So we are setting up uh, all on, well, I'm not sure, uh, industrial forest. 
mass producing trees. And of course this area we are planting grass on right now will of course also just be mainly for growing maybe two three rows of uh, of trees uh, and as we learned from the lesson we won't be growing uh, these uh, berries <laughs> <laughs> A big mistake. Of course, my own fault. I could just do my research before just starting. <laughs> I just liked the name and I was curious what type of trees it was. So, yeah. So I guess the next part we'll be uh, clearing out is this part here in the middle, down this way. Same procedure as here. So I think that area at the field are field number two with all the, the berry trees. I'm gonna take the mulch and remove them all. Then I'm gonna instead plant, uh, was it a uh, spruce? Especially just to have a variety of trees. We don't just want to grow one type. We also want to have multiple fields of each trees. Uh, so we have different growth stages, of course. So we don't have to cut everything down at the same time. So now one season has passed since we planted the, the first pine trees on field one over there. So it would actually be ideal now to, to put pine trees in this section we're in right now. Uh, So after a few seasons we could go around just taking them field by field. But then of course we would uh, need to look into but not only moving the yard up, but we need to, to uh, have a better way of transporting wood back to uh, the plant or the paper mill of course. <coughs> Are the train? Yes. As you saw, we had six pallets of uh, ready product, six pallets of paper, but we also have one pallet of uh, what was it? A cardboard. Uh, there you go. We have plenty of seeds here. So let's just. Uh, Unload. Not enough space to unload. Let's try it here. How much space do you need? There's plenty of Oh, maybe it's because it's inside. Yeah. Let's move over here. Unload. Yes, there we go. That was the issue. Just gonna grab the the front loader and bring it down because we want to sell our, our product, of course. Dude, dude, dude. If you're wondering what that is, you can see uh, Windows is complaining about uh, 
USB controllers. I'm not sure why it's doing that sometimes, but uh, unplugging and replugging uh, for some reason fixes it. Or not. I was looking up on the issue and uh, I found that uh, it turns out if the USB hub I'm using is not able to supply enough power uh, to the device, then it will not register or work. So I'm just... I got one of these uh, 10 port USB hubs just beneath my table here. And not much luck. And the strange thing is it has its own power supply. So, so I don't see why it even thinks this is an issue. It's just oh, sometimes windows just need to f Okay, here we go. Front loader is working. <clears throat> That's a start. Yes, good. So all this dark wood, oh, was it down, down, berry, down, berry, needs to just go. Of course, the cedar. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. There we go. Needs to go, so we can just go into rental. Return that. Yes, thank you very much. grab the load of paper. I need a new trailer and for sure we can afford it now. Oops, there we go. Should we bring the... <laughs> the cardboard. Let's just uh, pack this one down. Jump in here. Guess we are gonna put that on the train as well. I don't see why not. Heavy load. So we got a uh, sixteen thousand eight hundred paper, two thousand eight hundred cardboard. I actually have this uh, mod installed that tells me which ones are the best to sell. This one. You can see March, March for both. What are we in? We're in August, so it's far off. Well, we're not gonna wait. I need some new equipment. Uh, mainly, uh, I need a new trailer. And one of the other things I also need is a uh, something to make wood chips. All that leftover trees, all those small uh, uh, cutoffs and whatever we have, we need to get rid of that somehow. And I, I think just wood chipping uh, would be the easiest way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just watching the trailer. I was about to say going on two wheels, but in reality it's only going on one. It's a bit high load and <laughs> to, off to the side. So 
So I added some new mods since the last time, and some of these mods are mostly... Uh, it's from in-game mods, right? So it's uh, approved by Giants. Uh, and most of these mods is like... Uh, trailers, uh, transport functionality, and wood chip stuff. Because that's where I see this this series is going. There we go. Let's just go and get the train ready. Probably take a few minutes before it's here. Three kilometers, not bad. I didn't realize they were that heavy. Kinda tells me I need a uh, <laughs> rear weight of some sort if... Uh, unless I'm getting uh, some bigger equipment to actually uh, load and unload. Or just take one at a time, of course. That's just me being lazy. 1.7 kilometers. Let's go. Choo-choo. Map. So, there's more than one up here, so it has to come from the left. Yes, now we can see it on the map. All right. There we go. <clears throat> of course, I am confident the train will stop so we can load directly from this ramp. I guess that's what it's designed for. Stop. Thank you. Perfect. And for those wondering, yeah, you can uh, actually load on any part of the train you want. Uh, some parts are just easier than others. So yes, if you wanted to, you could just throw these into uh, to one of the trailers that is for wood. Should still work. Throwing is a is a big word when when the equipment can barely lift it. There we go. 
to pilot Fox through the paper, that's really good. I'm sure the, the buyer appreciates that. Oh, careful with the trailer. We need to sell it. Let's get that secured. There we go. And let's send the train off. I, I know that some people, they actually ride the train out. You can just return the train like this. And now it should leave on its own. And you, you still get paid. Of course, you, you lose the, the fun part of driving the train. Uh, I understand that, but hey, it's okay. It's it's not train sim. It's farming sim. Even though we don't do much uh, traditional farming in this. Uh. <laughs> so, curious to see the money coming in top right any second now. clear mm -hmm. there we go 36 89 you can see that's a lot lower than last time last time we were hitting the 140 with only six pallets this time we even included the pallet of uh, cardboard that really shows me we need to up our storage levels uh, which could be just by getting a bigger trailer uh, and then only sell that time a year when uh, when it's cheaper instead of uh, just selling randomly like we're doing now uh, for sure it will uh, have a much larger impact to uh, to sell it when uh, when the price is good. So let's just get this this one parked up here, as I would like to sell it now. It's a nice trailer. It has a lot of uh, nice functionality, uh, but. Uh, Yeah. Disconnect. Let's see the shop. So, discounts. There's no trailer on discount in here. There's trailers up here, but what we are looking for, well, eventually we need one of these to transport our wood chips. Since I can't afford a wood chip, right? Well, I could, but then I can't afford anything else. You see, this is one of. This is the standard one. Uh, here we go. Here's the mods. Different kinds for different, and of course, different logging resource. Always been a huge fan of, of it runner trailers uh, like this one. This could be really good for cargo, but it's not much bigger than the blue one we already have. So let's go back. Low loaders. This is more what we need. Um, so most of these we already know, right? Uh, but this one and this one is new. Uh, they came with the platinum pack. Low loader. Conti hybrid H3. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. It looks really nice. Long long yeah long load and then we have this one 
also very nice. And what I really like, option to uh, transport equipment. Problem with this one is we also need a dolly, right? Uh, dolly prices. Ah, okay. Not really a problem then. <laughs> or we could uh, go with a truck. So, of course, we have trucks up here. Standard trucks. Well, almost standard trucks. But also in the forestry machines, I have some trucks. So, not long ago, I made a video with a truck driving off doing a transport mission. That was this truck. I enjoyed that. Uh, do we have others? We have a couple of men. This one uh, has a crusher on top. <laughs> I like the idea. Uh, the price is just wrong. It should be much more expensive. This one has a trailer. This one is a semi with a crane. Could be nice, but the only thing I'm missing with the cranes is I need to be able to change the tool. Uh, so I also want a pellet fork for the for the crane. This one is nice, so you can take the trailer, put it behind. Yes. Yeah. Let's uh, let's pretend we are going to get a truck in the future. So we are going to get the long long low loader. I'm not sure about spare wheel. <laughs> Red is absolutely fine. We're gonna buy. Yes. And then we're gonna buy a dolly. Otherwise we are unable to use it. Well, at least until we get a... Uh, get a truck to drive it around. And let's get rid of this blue one. And we still got a, quite a bit of money, so that's good. But of course, uh, we're saving the money right now. We're still looking to uh, to get some of the, let's say, high-end uh, forestry equipment. It's not easy from out here. Let's do it like this. There we go. Good. Oh, why don't you stay up there? Thank you. Let's just uh, buy some trees, saplings while we're here, some pellets, saplings, and this time we're going for spruce. Yes. <laughs> And some pine. Yes, spruce. Bye, bye, bye. So four pellets of spruce, two pellets of pine. Good. Let's just get that loaded up. That's the two pellets of pine. Let's just push them all together. There we go. This should be the spruce. Mm. Almost impossible to sell. I guess when uh, we get out, we can just uh, read the tooltip. Oh. 
that's okay. I can just do this. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <coughs> Another thing I noticed we might have a problem with is the road, even though we made this nice road right next to the track here. With the fence. We also need to be able to bring our larger equipment around this way. Oh. Is it too heavy? No. No, another stone. Just gonna see if we can turn around here. Yes. Yes. It's a big trailer to, to <laughs> maneuver around in here. Yard. There we go. We can leave those, but these we need to get off. Spruce, spruce, and yes, they're too heavy. Spruce, pine, pine. Yes, so the assumption was correct. I'm thinking uh, those two we can just push off. Oh, off. Off you go. There we go. That was the only reason I didn't uh, untie them first time, is I don't want it to uh, mix it up. So the pine trees we actually want to plant over here, so we might as well just put it there right away. Forget it one. We did. <clears throat> there we go, and finally the grass seeds, which I'm sure we don't have to buy any more of ever in this <laughs> playthrough. So we got a pellet there, we got one inside, two inside. Oh, 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 oh. stop it.
very nice. See it flipped over, but that's okay. We'll come and pick this up in a minute, and then we'll be ready for clearing out these uh, these accidents. <laughs> oh, here's another stone. So we do have some stone. We can actually. <coughs> it's just not really worth it uh, to buy equipment. So I was thinking I'm just gonna rent. But let's clear this area out clear these trees out, plant these, plant spruce before considering uh, removing any stones. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, have any ideas or suggestions or something I missed, please let me know in the comments below. It was a pleasure, have a great day, see you next time, bye bye.